Hello everybody, Rackwinder here. Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Today we are back with some more brand new Synchro decks. Well, not necessarily brand new, but some spicy stuff that I've come up with uh, based off of some of the internets and, you know, made it my own a little bit. Uh, so basically this is going to be the first uh, one of the decks that for this video, and that is Vampires uh, Synchros. So Vampires are currently like one of the best decks in the game. It is uh, probably uh, considered a tier one deck at the moment. They are really versatile, offer a lot of different options for the player in order to make plays and uh, deal with a lot of different situations. So we have our standard vampire stuff. We have one Gazuki, uh, maybe two if you uh, need that. One Samurai or three Samurai Skull. This is a, the core engine of the deck. Samurai Skull sends these two to the graveyard in order to. Uh, activate their effects which can special summon them and that allows you to search for your vampire cards and accelerate your engine now we also have some big beefy boss monsters vampire grace allows you to take advantage of uh, the vampire kingdom effect and vampire vamp allows you to suck up opponents monsters uh, allows if they're a 2000 attack or higher attach them to her uh, as an equip spell and she gains their attack and she becomes huge Big beefy, gives them the, the good vampire suck and just destroys people. Uh, we also have Vampire Grimson. He is a pretty beefy 2000 attack, but he also has a protection effect that can allow some uh, clutch plays to happen. You follow me on YouTube, shameless plug. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. This is my YouTube's and my Twitch. You can't shameless plug that. Uh, we have Vampire Kingdom here. Uh, ideally, we would have two copies of this card. I'm still looking, or I'm still going through the box to get my second copy. Haven't gotten it yet. Uh, we have a Galaxy Cyclone, Cosmic Cyclone. Um, I just like Galaxy Cyclone. I know it's a bit slower than Cosmic, but I prefer it. Uh, I really do like the single target, just destroy, they're potentially destroying more. Uh, we have Vampire Decider, or Desire. Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to this in a moment, and we also have. Vampire Domain and then a copy of Vampire Takeover. Now for the synchros of the deck, we're just running uh, some of the Junk Warrior stuff and Gravity Warrior in order to synchro summon with our Junk Synchron. We're using Mark of the Dragon Head, which is the Yusei uh, skill that gives you Stardust as well as uh, Junk Synchrons. You get two of them. So uh, it will add our deck to be 23 cards instead of 21. Uh, and then we also have Unknown Synchron. This is the best tuner that we currently have in the game. Very easy to special summon. Very easy to get out onto the field and start your Synchro summoning shenanigans. Level 1. Uh, this is the level 30 Yusei Trap reward if you're curious. So not too difficult to uh, grind up for. This is a really good card. Um, I really wish we had more good tuners like this one uh, to make Synchro a bit more viable. Unfortunately, Treacherous Trap Hole is also a thing. Which is one of the worst, or most, probably one of the biggest hurdles that Synchros currently have at the moment. Just You're trying to summon two monsters to Synchro Summon, and they just blow both of them up. So, uh, pretty difficult. Uh, anyway, because Vampire Retainer and Familiar are both two and one star monsters, we can use them in combination with uh, Junk Synchron a little bit. That could, uh, that's what we'll be using for a lot of our... Uh, uh, synchro summoning tuning them with the junk synchron pretty good stuff there And then the rest of it is just kind of some generic uh, vampire engine as we described and then vampire desire is actually a pretty cool card Most of the time you're just using it in order to uh, Mill out more vampires to your graveyard to use the, their effects But this can also come in clutch if you're trying to synchro a specific monster as it does allow you to change the levels of those monsters uh, so that's kind of how we're going to go about it. We're just going to go jump onto the ranked ladder, try to get this uh, deck to work out. Uh, vampires are in extremely strong on their own, so we're probably going to win just by the power of that deck. But maybe we'll get some clutch synchros off and have some crazy epic uh, matches going on. Uh, get that Stardust Dragon out on the field and do some, do some good work. Uh... Really shame that Synchro isn't as isn't more viable. It's one of my favorite summoning techniques. Uh, I think it's one of the more balanced ones, and I just like the extra deck mechanic in general. Um, so, a pretty good hand actually. Nice. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead. Um, 
We're gonna just summon our Samurai Scrawl. Uh, we have another one, so we're just gonna mill out a uh, retainer here. And then we're just gonna end our turn. Hmm. Hopefully we don't get OTK'd. Um, that's kind of what we're trying to avoid. OTK. Fusion Recycling Plant. Oh man. What is he doing? What is he playing? Oh! Volcanic Shell. Hmm. I, I feel something spicy brewing. What is he playing? Paying 500 life points. Grabbing another one. He can only use this once per turn. <clears throat> Alright. Hmm. So that's another card. Ends to turn. Not bad. Not bad. Alright. Unknown Synchron. Oh, unfortunately we can't uh, sum special summon this because he doesn't have another... Uh, he doesn't have an extra monster. He doesn't have a monster on the field, and we do, so it's the opposite situation. Uh, so this will add Spell and Trap. I'm actually going to... Um, activate this. And then we're gonna... We'll discard this guy. We don't really need him. Oh, is he gonna do something? Could he have negated that? The 500 life points is a cost, so... Yeah, we're just gonna grab the Vampire Kingdom. Uh, let's see... An opponent is sent from my... Yeah, so we're gonna do the Vampire Kingdom. Um... Let's see, what do we wanna do? Scream in pain, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the voice acting is kind of... I'm just going to activate uh, Domain as well. We're just going to go in on this fool. I actually don't really care too much if he... Uh, I think he's going to Wall of Disruption me, because everybody plays Wall of Disruption. But hopefully we can... Uh... Oh, he's just going to Treacherous. That's not terrible. Uh, yeah. So if Samurai Skull gets destroyed by anything that's not battle, uh, if he leaves the field... Because of a uh, card effect, I can special summon a uh, another card. So let's see. Do I want to special summon this and search? I might want to do that. I might want to do that. Or do I want to damage? Let's do this. We can heal up the 1,000. Vampire Kingdom also allows us to. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna get a free search off. Thanks, guy. I appreciate it. Oh, is he really gonna providence that? Okay. Damn. Damn. Hopefully, uh, he only has two cards. And it doesn't seem like he's playing a, uh, a really... He doesn't seem to be playing... Uh, like a, a huge monster deck. So I wonder if he's gonna be able to OTK me or not. Because if I get another turn, I'm pretty much set. The unfortunate thing about some of these synchros... Ooh, switcheroo. Yeah, the unfortunate thing about these synchros is... Uh, Drunk Warrior can only be synchro summoned with uh, Drunk Synchron. It's very... Um, wait, actually... Can I... Oh, what is he gonna fuse? He finally got the fusion he's been looking for. Please don't have 3,000 attack. Oh, Gem Knights! Dang! Alright, he's gonna go in. Got that anime... That anime moment there. He's gonna grab his uh, Gem Knight back from the... Graveyard. All right, 800 life points remaining. We can only use our uh, monster effects once. So this will be. So if we summon this, we can add a vampire card from our deck to our hand. We can kill him actually. So this is a synchron, unknown synchron. Can I use this to synchro summon junk warrior? No, it specifically states junk synchron. That's kind of that's kind of unfortunate. That would be really uh, good. Uh, we're just gonna end up using the power of. Uh, 
We're just gonna end up using the power of... Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this. Does he have another ultimate provenance? That would ultra suck. If he has another provenance, we're probably done for. Uh... Oh, I should have actually summoned my tuner. I should have summoned the tuner. Because then I could have used it to, uh... Send a trap card. He does! What a fool, man. Uh, we'll send... In Vampire Kingdom. This will just protect us. Can we do this? Can we do this? Oh man, this is looking rough. All of the all of the Providence effects, man. Oh, he he's got me now. If only I had Sphere Karibo. GG. GG. Alright, we lost that one. Damn, all of the negation. I mean, it's smart. It's pretty smart. A lot of uh, monster effects are pretty rampant in the metagame right now. I wish I summoned the Synchro, or the Tuner monster. Because if I summoned the Tuner monster, I would have been able to make some more plays. Hmm. Maybe even uh, get a synchro summon on him. Go real ham. GG, I suppose. Let's go ahead and uh, keep going. He pretty much opened everything he needed, which is wild. Because uh, he opened both of his negation spells that, or traps that he really needed. All right, we got Leo versus Yusei. Not bad. Got some anime voice lines. I actually just started watching the. Uh, 5D's uh, anime. It's pretty good so far. Alright. Alright, we're not going first this time, which is pretty decent. Though I would prefer if we could... Uh... I wish we had one of... I wish we had one of our Samurai Skull or Gazuki monsters so we could... Do stuff. Uh, I think we can we can actually use desire on our junk synchron. It looks like though Not bad, that's pretty good Setting those cards you gonna set three back row that would be wild Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead pop that uh, galaxy cyclone What is it? Mirror wall. I'm pretty sure. It, does it die? Yeah, it still dies. Nice try. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, pop the junk synchron, activate vampire desire. We're gonna do this, and then I want, I want a spell and trap. But I think that would be the retainer. So this will be Vampire Takeover. Uh, this will allow us to make some plays. Uh, this will allow us to chain some plays together. Is he gonna wall of disruption? I don't know what his skill does. I assume his skill is the uh, Synchro Monster stuff. Because he has an extra deck with one. I'm not sure. Whatever his face down is, he can use it. Hopefully it's not a... Uh, If he does any deck uh, thinning and send or anything that sends from the deck to the graveyard, we summon. We're gonna use Vampire Takeover to chain it. 
and that will allow us to allow him or force or give us the opportunity to destroy a face down. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Oh, lava warrior or lava golem? What? Kind of, kind of cheese is he playing on me? He's like playing super stall. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we have to summon this. Yeah, we'll special summon a monster. Send a trap to the graveyard, boy! Yeah, that's what I thought. And... Active... We'll get rid of this one. And then we'll send this. Nope, we don't want to do that. Uh, I probably should have set this, destroyed this one, now that I think about it. Do I want to activate that? Because this will just give me a monster. Nah, we'll just let it go from here. This will be, this is GG, so we'll force his play. Oh, is he, is he out? Is he peacing? Is he saying goodbye, I'm out of here. Oh, come on, is he going to do the, the stall tactics? Let the duel end, man. Training shield, dang. All right. All right. I should have went for that left one. Like I said, should have went for it. Uh, we do have Vampire Kingdom on the field, though, so we can make some plays, and this actually protects us. Uh, so. Doesn't matter what that card is, you're about to uh, get it destroyed. GG! Come on, man. What are you doing? There we go. Alright, there's a familiar. Let's go ahead, pop the. Uh, Vampire Grace. He's running a dumb, a BS amount of traps, so we're just gonna keep uh, telling him to mill out a trap card. Yeah, friend, I know you need to check your, your internet connection, man, because it looks like you're having trouble. It's just a Yu Gi Oh card game, man. Oh, he's just gonna peace. He's like. He's like, screw this, man. I'm out. Deck's too strong. Yeah, vampires, they're something else. They're really good. Uh, hmm. I'm a little curious what he was playing, though. Like, what are you playing all those god-awful cards? Rip? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, the, the traps aren't that bad. But everything else, like, just random lava golems and stuff. Galaxy Brain is too strong. Holy sh... Yeah, he was playing traps. Like a bull... Like a bunch of traps. Holy crap. Why? What does this do? Can I see this? Info? I don't understand why you would play this skill if you're gonna be doing something like this. This is pretty much just a... Like... <laughs> endless trap my opponent to death. Like this is a stall deck type... Type deal. Alright, whatever. Next duel. Duel number two, I believe. We're gonna go ahead and jump into some more. We have one win. Vampires. Hmm. The big brain play would have been to hit his left side trap, because it was activatable. Like, I, I had some knowledge, some innate knowledge from my uh, testing that it was actually gonna be... Uh, activatable. Market the Dragon Head versus the Dark Field spell. 
Uh, most of my monsters are dark. But it's Fiend and Spellcaster type, so it doesn't help me. We have a really good opening hand. This is a really freaking good opening hand. Like, holy crap. I set a car. <laughs> I set a car. I'm counting on you. I summon a monster in attack position. My turn is done. It's my turn. This is a little weird. I draw. Izuki. Let's go. Um. I'm counting on I, I activate my monster's effect. Well, his his uh back row's chainable. Uh, he's choosing whether or not he wants to use it right now. Uh, do I want to send? I kind of want my field spell already, but at the same time. Hey, uh, send one vampire card from your face of. So it doesn't actually say that I can't send a familiar for a familiar. Um, this will give me a speller trap. I think I want. I want this. Hopefully this ain't treacherous. That would suck. Um, I really do want my uh, kingdom now. Because this will allow me to uh, swing over. Get rid of takeover because it's kind of useless right now. I don't have a field spell in my uh, I don't have a field spell. We're gonna bring out the big guns, bring out Grace. Curious what his uh, face down is. We'll find out, man. We're gonna destroy it. Get another summon. Okay. I summon and then Grace will allow us to send cards to the deck. Um, I'm gonna go for trap. I'm gonna go for trap. Most people play traps. It's really hard to find a deck that doesn't, especially with Treacherous being a thing. And unless he changes back row now, all right, he can't do anything. This is OTK. OTK, baby. So if it's treacherous, he can't do anything. Metal Morph. It doesn't matter, friend. I haven't seen Metal Morph in forever. That's an old school card. We'll send, uh... This one gives monsters, right? Yeah, we want the opportunity to draw another monster. Uh, so you lose. Because all of my monsters... Even if I don't kill you this turn... Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> GG. This is why vampires are tier 1, baby. <laughs> like, do you see how much I did in one turn? Like, I just... Flooded the f board with, like, an entire array of monsters. Like, holy crap. This deck is crazy. Crazy good. And then I was healing, right? So if I didn't kill him that turn, I was actually gonna heal for, like... 4,000, so I was gonna be well, well into the range of, like, you're just not winning this duel. So, GG, well played. Um, go ahead and search for another match. Not sure what that, what that guy was playing. Yeah, I really want to get my, uh, to get a second of my field spell. That'll really help the deck along. Alright, win and gain a rank. Let's rank up, baby.
Let's see if we can get some synchro soon against Glenn. All of the people I've been playing against have been spamming the crap out of our uh, out of their back row. Ooh, one, only one set. And we got Vampire Takeover. Let's do this. Um. Uh, hmm. I set a Battle. I'm just gonna deal twelve hundred to the face. I attack you directly. Set both of those. Make some plays. If he uh, does anything with my retainer, I'm I'm kind of okay with that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there we go. So let's send. Uh, let's activate this. Uh, this is the op the other thing that we can use in order to send stuff to the graveyard. So we want to send familiar, because this will allow us to search for another vampire monster. Um, activate this. Then we can search or summon familiar immediately. And then we'll use it for use it for Grace. We haven't we haven't summoned yet, or like normal summoned. So we can do this. Yes. I know what to do. I tribute summon a monster. Activate this. Uh, trap cards. Send those traps to the graveyard, baby. Get them out of here. There you go. Call of the Archfiend. We're gonna back row, pop your back row, and we're gonna send. send retainer. Bam! Escape from the dark dimension. I could search another one. I'm not sure what his face down is gonna be, but we're gonna go ahead. I'd like to search with this. Yeah, I'm actually going to. We're gonna make. We're gonna actually do another search. I activate my monsters effect. Select and send to the graveyard. Uh, we can send. We'll send this. Search. Okay. Oh, I already did it. What am I doing? Holy crap! I'm a baddie. I forgot that I used it already. Man, I'm terrible. Does he have sphere? He has sphere Karibo. Oh, I hope he doesn't have. Okay, that's fine. Damn, I actually. That's so annoying. That's so frustrating. I messed up. Oh, dude. Please tell me that doesn't activate my field spell. Because that would suck. Uh, we're just gonna pop this. I don't want him to destroy anything. I don't want him to destroy anything. Hmm. Yo, dude! We can junk Synchron! Let's go. I wanna do that. Let's get that, uh, Synchro Shokan. Yeah, what are you gonna do, friend? You already used your normal summon. Yeah, that's what I thought. He has Sphere Karibo, though. Suzuki. Let's go, let's go! Bring out the retainer! We can't use his effect, it's negated. Junk Warrior! Even the tiniest scrap has value. Synchro Shokan! There we go. Let's do this. Junk Warrior! 
I kind of wish there was an animation for this too, but it makes sense. Too bad I don't have any. Um, let's see, list. I could use retainer's effect. All right, well. Uh, I'm just gonna battle. Hopefully he actually uh, doesn't sphere creepo this, because now I'm just gonna gain life points. Bam! All right, what are you gonna do, my friend? Junk warrior! Scrap fist! Ah, uh, I knew it! I knew he had the sphere. Well, we have six thousand. 6,000 life points right now. Um, and we have a lot of plays. We have Kazuki in our hand, which will allow us to put Familiar back. Um, there's really not much we can do. Oh, what is that? Oh yeah, the Necrofear guy. It doesn't really matter. Ah, he forgot about the field spell! Way to go, my friend! Field spell adds 500 attack to all of my vampire- or zombie monsters. Oh my god. <laughs> he didn't read! I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of text, but... Come on, man. You saw me deal 2500 damage to you. How do you think that happened? Got too cocky. Rank up, let's go! Alright, that's another win under the belt, boys. Let's move on. I think we'll do one more duel with this deck, and that'll be it for the video. Really, a really fun deck. We got the Junk Synchron, Synchros uh, Summon going, so that's pretty nice. I mean, it's, it's hype. I mean, it's not going to add anything right now. Like, Synchros don't really add much value to the current uh, form of the vampire deck but vampires have the most potential out of any of them right now just because of the sheer amount of uh summoning abilities and whatnot all right so i'm not too sure what he's playing unfortunately we didn't draw any of our any of our uh, stuff. I'm just gonna set the familiar uh, and end my turn. Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that is enough. Alrighty then. Taking 10 years to draw his first card. Looks like he's uh, making the same plays. Well, I'll kind of see what this is. Oh, uh, Vampire Kingdom. Nice. So, let's go ahead. This is a familiar. Um, uh, we're playing vampires, so we're just going to use our grace. Uh, we're going to send familiar to the graveyard. And activate the effect. Send this to the graveyard. Summon this. Get the grace. We can't summon it yet, but hopefully... We're gonna use this. Send this. Send this. Like, look at this stupid. This is dumb. Grab our vampire domain. This will allow us a second... Uh, this is GG. This is GG. This will allow us a second, uh... Allow us a second normal summon, which will allow us to tribute summon the grace. Tribute this. Activate grace. Send traps. If he doesn't have traps in his deck, then we, you know, we immediately... Cringe, but I'm pretty confident most people just have a trap. So, destroy your face down. 
And we have to send... We're going to go ahead and send another familiar. There you go. What is that? Oh, battery man. Well, too bad. Feels bad, man. No Sphere Karibo either. That's GG. GG. This deck is insane. What the crap? <laughs> this deck is insane. Alright. GG. Well played. Um, so yeah, that'll be it for uh, this video. Pretty fun deck. We got one of those uh, hype anime duels in there. I really wanted to try and uh, play a deck that could take advantage of the diversity of Synchro Summoning. Or the potential of that diversity. Because right now, Synchro Summoning is a bit underwhelming. Uh, the idea of the extra deck is really cool to me because it's uh, supposed to be this toolbox that you can access at any point in the duel to deal with various uh, problems that come up. Uh, and Synchro Summoning to me is one of the more balanced ways of... Uh, uh, one of the more balanced extra deck mechanics compared to some of the other stuff that they've added. Um, and it's just really hype. Like whenever you see the, the tuner monster and that Synchro Shotgun happen, it's just so cool. Uh, and then a lot of the synchro summon or synchro monsters themselves are pretty cool. So, uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me. This was a pretty cool video. Vampires are wild. If you're looking for a sort of free-to-play deck, go get vampires. I think the biggest issue right now is vampire grace is in a different box and uh, samurai skull is in a big box uh, rare. Um, so there's a little bit of potential that you don't get everything you also need two copies of three srs from that box so it's kind of a more expensive free-to-play friendly deck but it's definitely worth it because there's a lot of potential in that deck there's a lot of versatility definitely think it's something to check out uh, but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time later